Nina Sayers, a young ballerina with the New York City Ballet Company, lives with her overprotective mother Erica, a former dancer. The company is opening the season with Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. After forcing prima ballerina Beth into retirement, artistic director Thomas Leroy announces he is looking for a new dancer, for the dual roles of the innocent and fragile white Swan Odette, and the sensual and dark black Swan Odile. Nina auditions for the roles, and gives a flawless rehearsal as Odette but fails to embody Odile. The next day, Nina asks Thomas to reconsider her role. She bites him and runs out of his office when he forcibly kisses her. Later that day, Nina sees the cast list and discovers she has received the lead role. At a gala celebrating the new season, an intoxicated Beth accuses Nina of providing personal favors to Thomas in return for a promotion. The next day, Nina hears Beth was hit by a car, but Thomas believes she was attempting suicide. Nina visits an unconscious Beth in the hospital. She sees to her horror that her legs have been severely injured, meaning she cannot perform as a ballet dancer again. During rehearsals, Thomas tells Nina to observe a newcomer Lily, who has a physical resemblance to Nina but also an uninhibited quality Nina lacks. Nina has hallucinations and finds scratch marks on her back. One night, despite Erica's objection, Nina accepts Lily's invitation to go out for drinks. Lily offers Nina an ecstasy capsule, saying it would help her relax. Nina turns it down at first but then accepts. She repeats Lily's assurance that the effects will only last a few hours and quickly begins acting under the ecstasy's influence. Nina flirts with men at the bar and Lily as well. The two dance at a nightclub and return to Nina's apartment late that night. After arguing with her mother, Nina barricades herself in her room, and Lily makes love with her. The following day, she wakes up alone and realizes she is late for the dress rehearsal. Upon arriving at Lincoln Center, Nina sees Lily dancing as Odile and confronts her about their night together. She seems confused by Nina's insinuation that they make love and denies going home with Nina, saying she went home with one of the men from the bar. Nina becomes convinced Lily intends to take her place, especially after learning that Thomas has made Lily her alternate. Nina's hallucinations grow stronger, and her injuries increase as far as hallucinating herself transforming into Odile. On opening night, she shouts to her mother, I'm the Swan Queen. You're the one who never left the core. After her mother tells her she called the theater, and tells them Nina was not well enough to perform and tried to convince Nina that the role has been too much for her. As Nina is late, Lily is prepared to replace her. Nina confronts Thomas, who is impressed by her newfound confidence and allows her to regain her roles. Towards the end of the ballet's second act, Nina is distracted by another hallucination and loses her stability as Odette. This causes the male dancer playing the prince to drop her on stage, infuriating Thomas. She returns to her dressing room and finds Lily preparing as Odile. During a confrontation, Lily transforms into Nina. The two fight, breaking a mirror, and Nina stabs her doppelganger with a large shard of glass from the mirror, killing her. The body reverts to Lily. Nina hides the corpse in the bathroom and takes the stage, dancing flawlessly as Odile seemingly turns into a black swan, her arms covered in feathers. Amidst a standing ovation from the audience, Nina surprises Thomas with a passionate kiss and returns to her dressing room. As Nina resumes the Odette tutu and white swan makeup, she hears a knock at her door. She opens it to find Lily alive. Lily apologizes for the misunderstanding and congratulates her before taking her to leave. Confused, Nina sees the mirror is still broken. But the towel she used to mop up the blood is clean, there is no corpse. She looks down and pulls a piece of glass from her abdomen, realizing she stabbed herself, not Lily. Nina dances the final act of the ballet, which ends with Odette throwing herself off a cliff and Nina landing on a mattress. The theater erupts in thunderous applause while Thomas, Lily, and the others gather to congratulate Nina, who remains lying on the mattress. Thomas sees the blood spreading at her waist and shouts for help. He frantically asks Nina what happened to her. Nina calmly replies that she is perfect. As the screen fades to white, 